everybody. It's Roxanne and I'm at home here in Arizona. How are you guys doing today? It's a gorgeous day out today. I think we got up to about, I think the low 80s. I think it was, no, maybe mid low 70s. I don't know. I don't know. It's just gorgeous out. Anyways, um, but I wanted to do something a little bit of fun. So we're going to play this or that. So I've got 25 questions um, and we're going to just kind of do a this or that. And if you are a content creator, if you've got a channel, I'd love to hear your this or that. So I'm going to post the questions in the description so that you can answer them as well. Just a way to kind of get to know each other a little bit better. All right, you ready? All right, the first one, number one, a million dollars or true love? <laughs> well, I would have to say probably love is better than money. Although, you know, money can't buy love, but I, I guess I'd have to go with true love on that one. But a million dollars sure would be nice too. <laughs> Number two, action or comedy as far as movies go. For me, I'm not really too much into action movies. Um, so for me, I would have to say probably more like comedy. Um... I don't know, it's kind of weird. I, I, I don't really go see a lot of movies, but I guess um, yeah, comedy. We went and saw one yesterday um, called Cry Macho. Um, it's a Clint Eastwood movie. And it's not really an action movie and not really a comedy. It's just one of those, I don't know, feel-good movies. But I liked it. It was good. All right, number three, American Idol or Dancing with the Stars. So for me, I'd have to say American Idol out of the choice of those two. Although I prefer the voice to American Idol. Um, but I'm not really much into the dancing. So um, though that show never really did anything for me. Number four. I kind of had to make an adjustment on this one because the question is Beyonce or Rihanna. And to be honest with you, I don't know anything that either one of them sings. Um, it's not my style of music. So I changed it to Foreigner or Journey, <laughs> which is a really hard one, you guys. So um, it's really hard. I don't know. I like, I like Foreigner, but I love Steve Perry. So it's a toss up. It's a hard one. I, I, can you pick between the two? I don't know. Let's see. I want your answers. Number five, black or green olives? Neither. I don't like neither. I don't like olives. Um, but if I had to have one, it would be a black olive, maybe a couple of black olives on my pizza, but that's it. Just a few. Number six, black pens or blue pens? For me, it's black pens. But I do like to do sometimes in color, but I prefer writing with black pens. I feel like I can see it better. Um, so I, I usually have black pens. Number seven, cake or pie? Cake or pie? That's easy. Cake. I love carrot cake. I love chocolate cake. Yeah, cake. <laughs> cake. Did I say that? Cake. <laughs> All right, number eight. It's kind of a weird one. It's not, I don't know. It's can you knit or crochet? Um, so as you all know, I crochet a lot. Um, my grandmother taught me how, and she tried to teach me how to knit, but I couldn't get the two hands going at the same time. That just didn't work for me. So crochet. And hopefully someday I'll get to teach my granddaughter how to crochet like my grandma taught me. Number nine, chicken or beef? I eat a lot of both. I eat more chicken than I eat beef, but I think I prefer beef to chicken. I love a good prime rib. I love a good steak. So beef. Yeah, beef. Number 10, another easy one for me, beach or countryside? I'll let you guys figure that one out. Okay beach obviously number 11 is coffee or tea 
think I prefer coffee, um, although I do enjoy tea as well, hence I do my Tea Tuesdays. Um, but coffee is what I typically have my go-to in the morning, so coffee. Um, number 12 um, is quiet dinner or a party. I like parties, but believe it or not, I'm not very comfortable in bigger crowds like that. So I guess quiet dinner. And that doesn't mean that it's just me and another person. It could be, you know, four people, five people, but just a more calm setting, uh, more what, what you would call what intimate setting maybe um, parties big parties they're fun but I, I tend to just kind of sit back and play the wallflower there so quiet dinners number 13 is donuts or cupcakes donuts I love donuts I shouldn't but I do cupcakes are okay um, I mean, I, I know it goes along with the cake thing, but I guess if I had to do cake or donuts, I'd still do donuts. So let's let's go with donuts. And what's your favorite donut? Mine are the um, the bars with the chocolate frosting. So choc they're called chocolate bars, I guess. Love those. Love. Um, I like them with maple too. The maple bars are the chocolate bars. My favorites. Okay, number fourteen. Facebook or Twitter. I don't really understand Twitter. Um, I have a Twitter, but I don't ever use it because I don't understand it. So Facebook, that one I finally figured out years ago, and I think I'm, and you know, I like doing that one. Long time ago, before Facebook, um, there was this one online forum called Delphi Forums. It still is a forum. Um, I actually kind of like their format better, but they don't have a real good mobile version of it. Um, so I don't use it anymore, but so I use Facebook mostly. Um, okay, we're on number 15, and that is fame or riches. I don't really care if I'm famous, but I could really use some extra money. Um, I would love to have, I would prefer the riches over fame. Um, I can help more people with riches, I think, you know. I can help my kids. I can pay off my house I can give more to the church so riches suppose if you have fame though you could like do fundraisers and things like that but um, I think I'd rather have the money to be able to give myself all right number 16 fast food or frozen food I know most people a lot of people like to cook. You guys all know my whole thing with cooking. I'm not that good with it. Um, frozen food is okay. But sometimes I just don't, I don't know. You, you have to find something good. So I'm going to go with fast food. And that doesn't necessarily mean McDonald's or something like that all the time. Because we have other, there's other forms of fast food. Um, there's you know, chicken. Um, there's a place called Tokyo Joe's that I just love. It's kind of a fast food place. It's like teriyaki rice bowls and stuff, so really good. So I, I'd have to go with fast food on that one. Uh, number 17, heels or sneakers, tennis shoes, sneakers. Um, I used to wear heels a lot. I can't wear them anymore. They hurt my feet too much. So I go, nowadays, it's the sneakers. Um, yeah, heels just, they just hurt. So I don't even, I own maybe one or two pairs only because, like, I had a pair for my son's wedding. So I've got those still, but really, I just wear sneakers most of the time. Or any kind of, like, slip-on shoes. I love Skechers. So, and Skechers has got some really nice dressy type shoes, but they're just so stinking comfortable that I love them. Um, and to go along with that, number 18 is then sneakers or flip-flops. Flip-flops all the way. I wear them probably 10 months out of the year. I think there's, in Arizona here, there's probably only a couple of months that my feet get too, too cold to wear flip-flops. Otherwise, I'm pretty much wearing flip-flops all the time. 
Um, number 19, leggings or jeans. So I don't really like the leggings that are tight on your calves because my calves hurt a lot. I don't know if it's from the restless leg or, or what it is. So I do prefer leggings to jeans if the leggings are the ones that are more like the boot cut um, or the yoga pant ones, you know, that are that are a little bit wider or flared at the bottom. Not like really flared, but wider at the bottom. Um, I just It's just more comfortable. Jeans are not comfortable to me. I don't like having to zip them up and got the button hurting you and all that kind of stuff. They're just not comfortable. I know a lot of people think they're the most comfortable things in the world, but for me, they're not. Maybe it's because I'm a heavy girl. I don't know. But, like, uh, leggings. Number 20, long nails or short nails? So right now, I have no nails. <laughs> um, but when I do get my nails done, I do keep them on the shorter side um, because it's easier for me with the computer. Uh, I love the long look of longer nails. They're gorgeous. They're beautiful. But for me, they're not practical. So short nails when I actually have nails on. And, that, and that's not to say that they're like short, short. But I, I mean, they come over a little bit. Um, they're just more, for me, more practical. 21 is meat or fish. Now, I can't eat um, shellfish. I'm allergic to it. Or I think I am. Uh, years ago, I had, I used to eat crab and lobster and shrimp. I love shrimp. But I had an allergic reaction one time to shrimp. I swelled up. My throat swelled up. My eyes swelled up. Everything. I ended up in the emergency room. Um, so I went and had some allergy testing done. And they said, well, you're not, it's not showing that you're allergic to shrimp. It was showing that I was slightly allergic to crab, but the doctor said the only way to know for sure was to bring in some shrimp, sit in his office all day, and eat it. So I would eat some shrimp, wait 15 minutes, eat some more, wait another 15 minutes, and, and if I didn't blow up, then I was fine. I don't want to waste a day in a doctor's office doing that. For me, it's just easier not to eat it. So I haven't eaten any type of shellfish in years. I do like to go for fish fry. I do like um, salmon, um, but I'm uh, eating more just meat, and that's either chicken or beef uh, on a regular basis. So I would like to try maybe even being a little bit more vegetarian, but I don't really know how to cook vegetables. Okay, number 22, Pepsi or Coke? I... I'm a Coke person. Coca-Cola. Excuse me. Let's let's make that very clear. Coca-Cola. Um, and I really like um, either the diet, just Diet Coke or the Coke Zero cherry flavor. Um, diet Pepsi is okay if that's all there is. Um, but I just prefer the taste of Coca-Cola to Pepsi. I've done that Pepsi challenge thing and I always ended up picking Coke. Remember? Remember the Pepsi challenge? They used to do those all the time. I always ended up picking the Coke. So they didn't like me. <laughs> okay, we're getting close to the end here. Number 23, red apples or green apples? So it's got to depend. If it's, on, if it's for a candy apple, it's going to be a green apple. Um, got to be a green apple. But for just eating... Um, then it's going to be a red apple, but not like the red delicious because those are too mealy for me on the inside. I need them to be a little bit tart and they need to be hard. Um, they can't be mushy. So I have found the best ones that I like are Fuji. Um, for a while there it was Gala, um, but they've started, I don't know what's changed, but to me they're starting to be a little too mealy on the inside. So Fuji apples, they're red. Um, so ap red apples for eating green apples for caramel apples. All right. Number 24 is kind of a two-parter one. So summer or winter and being here in Arizona, I'm going to have to say winter. I have always preferred summer, um, because I am a beach person so much because I love being by the water. 
Um, but summers here, I prefer winter here in Arizona. Summer in, in Colorado, gorgeous. But here in Arizona, winter. So the next one then is fall or spring, this is part two, fall or spring. And again, here in Arizona, we don't really get a fall or a spring, but I love fall weather. I love wearing sweaters. I love the fall colors and going to see the leaves change. Um, so I love fall. So fall. And I love the smells of fall. It's like, I don't know, the, the air smells different. It's just got a cool, crisp smell to it. Just gorgeous. Okay, final question, guys. Number 25, showers or baths? For me, I like to take a really, really hot shower. Um, I don't take baths too often. Um, it does help my legs, but um, I have to have plenty of room. Again, being a bigger girl, finding a tub that I can cover up completely, I prefer just a nice, really hot shower. Um, so, there's my 25 this or that's. Again, I'm going to post these uh, questions in the description. So, please join in and let's hear what your this or that answers are. Okay? All right, everybody. I will say goodbye now. I think this has gotten long enough. So, I hope you all have a wonderful day. God bless you. This is Roxanne at home here in Arizona. Take care now.